Hey guys, it's Brido here, and welcome to the second career mode series that we're going to be doing for this channel. Uh, I've already started a Liverpool series, but I wanted to do another one as well on a lower league team. I threw the question out to you guys a couple days ago, essentially asking which team you'd like to see. And we got very good responses, which was awesome, um, but I decided in the end to go with Carlisle. Uh, we got good responses and videos, thumbs up for them as well. I got some messages from Carlisle fans saying it would be great to see them in a series. And uh, the other kicker for me as well was the fact that they were a team that hadn't really gotten a lot of exposure in previous uh, YouTube videos. So it's kind of new territory, much like the newer teams that are coming into a League 2. Uh, you know, I was interested in doing Fleetwood. A lot of you guys wanted to hear, uh, see Fleetwood as well. But they're a team that's already uh, several uh, other people on YouTube have already started doing it. So I don't want to, you know cut into their view base. I don't want them to cut into my view base. I want to do my own thing, let people do their own thing as well. And everybody, you know, wins because then you can see uh, more videos that are different from different perspectives. So in our case, then we chose Carlisle. And I'm really excited to do this series because obviously uh, doing a series like this is a lot of fun because, you know, we do our, we're doing the Liverpool series, which I'm really excited for as well. But in a type of series like this, there is a lot more room to, to explore your options to you know, really transform your team into something because when you're in League One and you're, you know, moving up to uh, the champion or championship and then afterwards going to the Premier League, your team needs to evolve and become better over time. You can't just be uh, quaint with the players that you have. Um, especially, I remember personally, you know, going through uh, my own experience of FIFA 12 playing Sheffield Wednesday that even at the time that I started the beginning of my Premier League time, you know, around season four or so or season three, my side was, you know, completely different at the end of like season 9 or season 10 you know the players that I thought were top players on my side when I was in the Premier League to begin with were guys that were on the bench where I had sold because I didn't even need them anymore and it's amazing how that process continues so you know we start off here you can see the original players that we have on the team here we're gonna work with most of them at this point because we really do not have that much money as you can see at the top corner there we're working with pennies um so what we need to do at first at least is we need to uh, I sense the fact that there are some uh, holes in our team a little bit. Our, our team runs in a 4-1-3-2. Uh, so we have uh, two center backs, a left back, a right back, and then a center defensive mid sitting behind the three other uh, midfielders who are uh, a left mid and a right mid and then a center mid. The, the wingers are essentially set back a bit so they're not really in an offensive role. We can tweak that as it goes on though as I, I actually like the 4-3-3, but this is an interesting... Um, interesting formation that I haven't seen that much in uh, FIFA games previously so I want to play with it I want to find out how you know it works for me essentially because it's it's something that again like I said I haven't really seen that much of in the past so we what we decided to do right away essentially is we uh, go into the free agent pool and I sign one player there uh, this is Ballon I believe he's um, I'm gonna say Bolivian I'm not 100% sure but nonetheless, he's a relatively good uh, center defensive mid, and it was a good pickup for us because he's a guy that can kind of control the midfield, make the passes, make the strong plays, and hold the defensive line essentially for us when, you know, right now we don't have as strong of a team that we might have in the future. But besides from that, we're going to leave it as is right now because I really want, uh, especially this series because, you know, Liverpool series, like I said, we can, you know, do what we want with that, but there's still, you know, we want to keep certain players and do certain things with that. There's a lot more openness uh, to this one. You can sign really anybody you want and you know obviously respect to all the Car or Carlisle fans watching this uh, series you know over time we are gonna have to evolve the team and you know I'll take your respect into which team or which players you'd like to see uh, develop and stay longer and who you personally like from your experiences watching the team in real life because uh, I want to you know keep you guys involved with that but at the same time too you know we'll continue to evolve this team and make changes so you know when we do those changes I want you guys to be involved because you know, especially with the changes we're going to need, you guys are going to be my scouting network again. It's been great, you know, having the responses I've had in my other career mode series. Uh, seeing guys overall, you know, s respond to essentially, hey, you, you need a type of player like this. Let's look for a guy like this. Uh, and in this series, even more, it's going to be real bargain hunting. So I'll, I'll definitely uh, lean on you guys for my scouting network. We're going to set up also a youth network as well because, you know, what I've seen in the past is a lot of fun. Uh, to you know, build up the youth network, especially in a, a series like this where you know we're starting off at a lower point. That you know, if we find a really good young player, he could potentially be a guy that starts in our starting eleven right away, and he gets a lot of experience early on. So yeah, we we we're playing our friendlies right here. I, I sim the friendlies just so that we can get into the actual season. Um, you know, they they are important obviously, but 
we we uh the players that we're working with here are going to be the players that we're essentially uh, going to be going with uh, for the season as well, minus the changes that we do make before the deadline, and at the same time too the the suggestions you guys make as well. Um, so we go through them, just kind of seeing how our team stands up against these sides. And to be honest, they do not stand up that well. We do have quite a few options though in some situation or some areas. Um, the one spot that actually, uh, from what I've seen, we have uh, pretty good talent is our striking position. Uh, you know, our strikers are quite solid. We do have a couple lone players, uh, one from Birmingham, I believe the, the other one I can't remember for, for sure, but they're pretty solid for uh, the overall that they are in uh, League One. So we do have some solid players in that position, but our back end is a little bit older there, you know, still fine for the time right now. But, you know, when, when we move forward with this, we're going to look for younger players to bring in there that can hopefully develop, and we can give them plenty of playing time in the championship also maybe by the end of the League One season so that they can get the time in there uh, to be ready for when we get to the Premier League eventually. So here we uh, get all the way to the first game of the season. Here you can see just essentially the, the breaking news on, you know, our first game, what they expect from us, and, you know, what my expectations as uh, the manager are going into the game. As you can see as well, the first matchup of the season for us is against Oldham Athletic. Uh, so we got a tough challenge away from home, but hopefully we can pull away the win here. And you can see uh, that the, the animations are different as well. Uh, we have the ESPN animations for our Liverpool series playing in the Premier League, but I guess for the Empower Leagues, you do not get those. So we'll have a little bit of a mix of both. You know, we'll get this uh, sometimes, and eventually when we get up to the Premier League, then that'll be the ones that we'll get to look at. So, you know, something to look forward to, essentially. Um, but there you can see they're starting 11. They're going for a 4-4-1-1. The one guy that stands out to me is Matt Derbyshire, a guy that I've uh, had to handle in the past. It's given me a little bit of trouble in uh, previous career modes. Hopefully we can keep him calm in this game. Not too many chances for him. Uh, for us, we're doing the 4-1-3-2, like I said before. And there's Ballon there, the guy that's going to be the new signing for us. We're at number 13. He's uh, going to be in the defensive mid uh, role there. And uh, hopefully that will be a good position for him. He can be a calming presence to the team. And that will uh, definitely be a good thing if we can uh, handle it the proper way. And uh, hopefully uh, he'll be a good signing as well because we did spend some uh, money on him to bring him in. So here's uh, the first chance of the game. Nothing that much uh, going against us. It was just a weird little bouncing effect there. We move ahead here to the 14th minute mark where we really remember that we are now uh, playing with players that are not out of the caliber of star uh, quantity. So you can see that he missed the net by quite a bit there and we're going to have to get used to maybe coming in a little bit closer to get our chances. First big chance of the game goes Oldham Athletic there. Matt Derbyshire gets a chance but goes wide as he gets tripped up by the goalkeeper. No uh, penalty on that one, luckily. And there's the end of the first half. Not a lot of chances going either way. Uh, here's the uh, stats for the first half, though. As you can see, we had the, the lack of possession and the shots go against us. So the game was going in Oldham Athletic's uh, favor a little bit. But, you know, we were looking at uh, getting back in the second half here and turning the play a little bit more in our direction. Oldham Athletic, though, uh, get the first chance of the half here. And uh, our goalkeeper, Cola, makes a nice save to, to keep the game at a nil-nil draw still. Now moving to the 64th minute here, Chandler gets a chance for us, uh, the first real chance for the half uh, uh, for our team, uh, but nothing uh, comes of that either for us. And uh, moving to the 75th minute here, we try and head one ahead to ourselves. We can't get it to go. They pass it back to Sizak, the Oldham Athletic goalkeeper, and he feeds it right to Jervis, who has plenty of time to let one rip. But amazing save bails his team out after a mistake that could have been costly. Uh, now we get the corner off that chance there. Trying to take one there, uh, it doesn't happen, and we feed it right to Chandler again, but he's wrong-footed on the situation, so he can't, uh, you know, make a good chance uh, for uh, us at this point. So and now we're moving ahead to the 89th minute. One last real chance for us. Ballon, the, the new acquisition, tries to make a goal uh, in the last minute out of nothing and uh, isn't able to do it. So uh, we make one last change on the corner, hoping that maybe uh, one new fresh face might be able to make the change uh, for us a positive. And uh, here we get the chance off the corner, and it goes right to uh, Garner there, who tries to make something happen. Can't. Uh, Ballon gets the ball back once again, uh, but it's covered by Sizak. And uh, he kills some time, which essentially gives him enough time to clear it out now, and uh, the whistle blows. So that's the end of this game, guys. It is a nil-nil draw. We did get our chances, but at the same time, too, it was a, a relatively quiet game. We didn't... Uh, you know, do as much as we might have wanted. The stats are relatively good for most of our players. Ballon having a good start as the new acquisition. But yeah, that's it for this game, guys, though, so I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this series will continue and kind of be, uh, you know, a rotated series along with Liverpool. And uh, yeah, so uh, stay tuned for this one, obviously, and along with the Liverpool series. And uh, guys, give me your comments on, you know, what you'd like to see from the team moving forward because, 
you know, we do not have that much money, but there is the free agent pool that's pretty much synonymous with everybody. Uh, so you can go look at that. Let me know if you see any players there that you think would be a good player to pick up for us, and uh, leave a comment below regarding that. But in the meantime, though, thanks again for watching, guys, and uh, that's it for now. Cheers. Berry, one. Swindon Town, one. Colchester United, one. Hartlepool United, one. Crawley Town, one. Brentford, two. Doncaster Rovers, one. Milton Keynes Dons, one. Oldham Athletic, nil. Carlisle United, nil. Portsmouth, two. Crew Alexandra, one. Preston North End, one. Notts County, nil. Sheffield United,